Alex, how much of a toll did that take when you lose Brodine and it looks like Eric Chenek is struggling? You know, everyone was at full strength. I'm sure you wish he had a do-over. Yeah, well, there's no question, obviously. Um, I would bros play under two minutes. Um, just put a lot of a lot of stress on our on our back end. Obviously, he eats up a lot of minutes for us. So there's there's no question it hurt. And Eck is such a warrior. Um, you know, <laughs> gave absolutely everything he had, and I, I can't imagine how busted up he is. Yeah, Dean, was that a reaggravation of what happened last game, or did he get something new happen to him today? I, I didn't hear the first first part, Sarah. Was it a reaggravation of maybe what happened last game, or did he get hurt something new today? Um, same. Same same injury as before. Yes, re redone or yep yep. Dean, still there was that resilience in the second. You know, after the Kaprizov power play goal, um, you know, where did you feel the game was at when it was? Even, uh, well, we just had a chat, obviously. You don't want to rehash too much yet, but uh, I think Curl hits the crossbar there, makes it 2-1 for us. I think that's probably a key point in the game. Um, likely the missed high stick on Bugie would have been a four-minute. He was smashed up pretty good in the face. Um, that's a key moment in the game. But, you know, there, there was several of them. They took advantage of their key moments and uh and and we didn't and um likely the difference in the game well, lastly dean you know you said you probably have a lot to digest moving forward um you know this ending aside it doesn't feel like this will define this season you know what do you think is maybe you know the tell you know hallmark of, of this group this year i just we just talked to the group that you know we hope that they're proud of each other and and proud of uh uh, themselves of, of how they conducted themselves this year and you get to a game seven and obviously one team wins and one team loses and um, our effort was there we competed our butts off we did that from day one game one we actually referred to uh, <clears throat> going into the third we referred to game one how we were down two and came back and we're hoping that we'd see that same scenario but uh, but yeah I mean our resilience, the, the way that the group conducted themselves uh, all year, uh, they should be extremely proud of themselves. Thanks, Dean. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Dean, uh, can you say what Brodine's injury was? Uh, you know, I have an, a suspicion, but can you say what it is? No, I, I, I don't know the exact extent of it, so okay. I, I'm not prepared to do that. I know you talked about it in the outset, but how, how just gigantic of a loss was that? Because, uh, you know, you're already without Susie, you're playing a rookie, um, you know, it, it obviously led to a lot of different line combinations and overextended shifts. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, 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 you can you can make up a forward, obviously, um, when you got 12 of them, when you got six guys back there. Um, it's it's very difficult, and, uh, and people are playing out of position, play, playing too many minutes different minutes um so yeah it disrupts obviously um compound that with the guy that usually gets eats up the most minutes um you know that skates skates like the wind and um can get back for pucks and breaks it out and all those things so it was a huge loss for us no question um but very proud of the five guys that were back there my gosh they competed their butts off and uh you know uh addison was terrific um they all were they all were um you know they they just you know we were short yeah um i know you tied the game on the caprice South power play goal but did the referees give you any reasoning why it might have not been a major on reeves's penalty on Suter? yeah um because they can't call a boarding he said they can't call a boarding because it's at the net and not the not the boards so oh, yeah. i don't know it's pretty uh it was pretty violent obviously um you know probably another key moment yeah um i know we're going to talk to you next week uh, dean but but looking at the future of this organization right now with all the prospects you have coming uh, you know caprice how how happy you're with 
the just sort of the direction that you guys are going and the and the future that this team has? Honestly, Mike, I just I'm just proud of the way that this group c conducted themselves, um, how we played. Um, you know, the future will will tell itself uh, as we go forward here. But uh, right now, the group in that room is very disappointed about you know how far we've come and and didn't get past that that uh, that spot that we were in. I mean, we got ourselves uh, to a game seven. We just didn't push through. So. We need to learn, uh, you know, uh, from this experience right now and obviously going forward, and, and we will. Thanks, Dean. Hey, Dean. Uh, maybe this is a better question for next week, but you mentioned learning. Um, how much can the sting and, and, and the disappointment of this, you know, be a positive in the long run for guys learning how to play in a, an environment like this and play in a game seven and, and you know, battle through things like this? Yeah, I don't know if the the sting can help more than the you know a positive situation. It's just you just need to learn from it, right? I mean, you you have to go through the experiences of of getting here and um, through the season, um, all the adversity that they we faced, um, all the all the things that we you know in, were able to to accomplish as far as uh, our competitiveness and and uh, you know. Uh, resilience of uh, you know sticking together and all that good stuff, um, but you need yeah you need to learn about all of that stuff and now we've got some experience with those uh, situations good and bad obviously the worst feeling is uh, is tonight so yeah we uh, we need to learn from uh, from this but we can learn from other stuff as well. Thanks, Dean. Thank you. Go ahead, Jesse. Hi, Dean. I know we've talked about Cam Talbot and his performance successively, but I mean, really, how important was he in this playoffs, especially considering the up and down year he somewhat had this season? I mean, just how important was he for you guys this, this playoffs? Uh, up and down, I, I don't know. It was a lot of up. Um, so uh, he's been everything um, for, for this group. Uh, Stopping the puck, leading, we've talked about it a lot. Um, he was absolutely phenomenal in the series and gave us uh, uh, an opportunity to uh, to get to Game 7 and and, all, and gave us a chance to win tonight. Perfect. Thanks.